Hello, everybody. Hello, my patients. Lovely patients. Hello, my subscriber. Hello, my friends on Instagram and Facebook. Thank you so much all for your support. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you don't know me, my name is Saya. I am a founder of Hummingbird Health Space Naturopathic Clinic. I am a qualified naturopath. I support women, children, everybody who's suffering from all sorts of conditions, physically, mentally. I hope you all are happy with me. Anyway, uh, I just thought I might talk a little bit about iron, um, which I posted accidentally yesterday. Which, you know, I was going to post that today, but oops, I make mistake too. <laughs> anyway, uh, there was a little bit more deeper information I want to share, so I'm here. Stay with me if you want to know about iron, anemic, and food. Okay, so like Sadia said on the Facebook and Instagram posts, uh, as a woman, we need 18 milligram of iron every day. And it's not easy to understand how much this, this you know, 18 milligram is. So I thought I might share, you know, what food and how much we should eat to get this 18 milligram. And here, I have my cheat notes here. <laughs> okay, so two examples I want to share with you today with iron. So one is it's well-known red meat. So let's say beef. So in the beef, let's say 100 gram of steak or any beef, there is 3.5 milligram of iron in 100 gram. And just remember, we need 18 milligram of iron per day. And if you are already anemic or pregnant or trying to get pregnant, you need more than 18 milligram. Please keep in mind. Okay, so this is beef. Now, spinach is well known, uh, you know, plant-based, high, rich uh, iron food. So how much iron is actually in spinach so this is what it says a food saying <laughs> anyway okay so cooked spinach so a cup of cooked spinach we can get 6.4 milligram of iron so just imagine on a plate having 100 gram of steak with a uh, cooked spinach, it's one cup, not raw, so we need a fair bit. And that makes up 9.9 .9 milligram. Okay, and just remember, we need 18 milligram. So by eating a piece of steak and a cup of cooked spinach, we can get 9.9 .9 milligram. But do you, I don't know, it depends, I guess it's up to you whether, you know, you eat steak quite often or not. Um, it can be lamb, but not really in the chicken. So, if you find it's not so easy to keep up with this 18 milligram, okay. And also, second tip I want to share today is... Ferritin. It's the name of, it's a type of uh, blood test item. If you've already seen me, probably you've got that numbers already. But if you've been to see a doctor because you feel, you know, fatigued, tired, or probably heavy menstrual cycle, uh, for whatever the reason, the doctor may have run the blood test. But did they actually run ferritin? So ferritin is the stored iron level. So when we eat meat, meat goes into my, my and your body and circulate into it. But 
after two hours, the iron will be gone. So we need to eat more. But when we need more, our body is actually capable of storing those iron for emergency situation. So when you see on your blood test results, iron means you're currently circulating iron level, which can change in two hours for this reason. And this is why we need to make sure you've got enough amount of iron stored in your body. And only the way to check this is to measure your ferritin level. So first of all, if you haven't got your ferritin level checked, definitely go and do that. Because iron level is not really helpful to see whether you have enough iron or not. Now, the second thing about ferritin is what numbers are optimal level? Because um, your doctor may say, yeah, everything is fine, but do you actually know where you are at? So if you're in Australia, just a look at your number. The numbers I want to see is between 60 and 80. I don't want to see 40 or 20, or I don't want to see 250. So I really want you to go back to your results and then see where you are at. Because that's the body's sign um, of, of course, iron metabolism, but that can tell us a lot. So please go and get the ferritin level or please check your ferritin level. So that's your number two uh, information today. And the last one uh, I want to share today is all about absorption and storage. So like I said, ferritin uh, is the type of iron stored in the body. So stored, mm, stored type of iron. Oh. I don't know, I get very confused. Anyway, what I want to say is iron is stored in our liver. So, how is your liver health? If you like drinking more than three times a week, if you like to have coffee more than one a day, if you are smoking, they are all red flag because all these caffeine, alcohol, any sorts of toxins, they go through the liver. So if your liver is too busy clearing all these toxins, the liver doesn't have capacity to store iron for you. So how is your liver? We need to make sure your absorption level is pretty good. No, storage, sorry, storage. <laughs> so iron storage I was talking about. So iron is stored in our liver. Let's check your liver health. And sometimes it doesn't necessarily come up uh, in the blood test results because uh, caffeine or alcohol doesn't always reflect on uh, uh, those numbers but just look at your lifestyle, okay? So the last one is absorption. Of course, our body has to be able to absorb your iron from the food so that they can go into the bloodstream. Where is this happening? It's in our gut. So how is your gut health? If you are feeling fatigued, but also constipated or IBS type of symptoms or something wrong with your gut, gas maybe, um, or bloating, everyone's different. But if you are experiencing some kind of gut-related symptoms, there is no point bombing your iron supplements because your body cannot absorb properly. In that situation, we have to 
fix the gut first so that your gut can absorb iron properly. I hope that makes sense. So three things I talked today. One is how much iron we can get from the food. Second is go and get the blood test or have a look at your blood test results. But look for ferritin level. We want between 60 and 80. And lastly, absorption and storage. I talked about liver health, also gut health. So, if you have any questions, please pop the comment or simply get in touch with us. We will go from there. Well, thank you for watching or listening. You all, yeah, how is your day going? Anyway, have a great day. See you next time. Bye.